Hey, this is Piotr on the Edge again. So I'm still sticking with Edge Animate and this time I want to show you how you can add some sounds into your animations. Uh, so basically Edge Animate doesn't come in with a built-in support for sounds yet, at least, and what I'll be using, I'll use a Bass library, which is a, a, an open source, very nice little library that you know makes life easier with uh, handling our, uh, audio in your HTML5 um, content uh, so I'll use it in my composition here uh, but you know you, there are other libraries and also you can use a, a pure audio JavaScript API that comes with HTML5 as well all right so uh, let me go in and first of all uh, let me show you where you can find bus so if you go to busjsalva.com uh, you will uh, you will find bus there the documentation it's a little simple but very powerful uh, so I encourage you to go ahead and give it a try now I uh, once you download the Buzz.js library, go in, uh, first of all, and drop it somewhere under your uh, under your uh, project, and also you have to add some sound. So also drop in the audio, uh, maybe into audio uh, folder, whatever you want. And remember, if you want to support, not all, not all browsers support MP3, like uh, Firefox, it doesn't support because of some licensing issues. So you may want to uh, also export your sound into AUG, whatever other format uh, your the target browser support. And now, so if I have have those two bus JS and also the audio I can go in into my HTML content and add my bus uh, library into it so to the reference by JavaScript here tag in my head of course uh, and so there you go I have bus JS it's somewhere before the edge uh, ed runtime edge animate runtime okay so I have that and save it now you can go ahead and open it in your um, animate um, tool and uh, well uh, I'll be using the same example as we did before so this bouncing ball and I want to add a bounce sort of a sound uh, so it's it's more uh, more fun uh, okay so the first thing I want to do here with my uh, with my on my stage level I want to turn off auto playing why because I want to make sure that my sound is loaded before my um, animation starts playing so I have autoplay off now I can go into a code editor so command E is uh a shortcut on Mac on Windows is probably Control E, and on the stage level. So if you click on the stage, you can actually define variables that will be visible in other um, in other places of your composition, in other scripts or other events of your um, of your animation. And in here, I want to well, uh, let me go in head into my cheat sheet here, and I'll just copy and paste this snippet of code. There we go, uh, which will add me support. So let me go through it. So I'll define a variable, as I said, which will be visible in other events of my animation. Uh, so I'll create new bus sound. And first the uh, parameter here is a uh, path to your sound. Then you can specify formats, uh, which your sound uh, or the file extensions that your uh, sound supports. And this is important and this is nice because, you know, Bass will automatically, based on the browser that it is running in, it will uh, use a proper format for you. Now, the second thing, second line here is actually um, an event handler. So Bounce Sound um, has a bind function where you can bind to different events and it has a dozen of events for handling sound. So go ahead and check it out in the documentation in there. So there is a function loaded data. So uh, it is uh, triggered when the data sound Sound is completely loaded and you can start playing it so inside of a handler there what I'm going to, going to do is first of all get access to my stage so by using edge get composition comp ID and get stage and I can play my stage because as you remember I turned off the uh, autoplay now I can just start playing my sound so a sound uh, bounce sound and play function and it will start playing it and the last thing I want to do is here inside of maybe composition ready I want on the bounce sound uh, variable I want to call function called load so it will be all in sequence first my animation will load and all its assets and then in a, a composition ready the uh, it will start loading the sound data so I will this way I can make sure that everything is loaded and it, it will be ready and it will start playing whenever the sound is available so it should work so let me try 
there we go we have a nice effect now if I want to maybe improve a little bit when the bouncing effect happens well uh, I use uh, audition and in audition I can go in and maybe like okay the the start of the bounce the, the, the first bounce starts about uh, one over one second so I can go in here just copy that and go into my timeline and copy that as well here so you can see it is a little bit out of sync with when actually it starts bouncing back so what I can do I can actually move around all the keyframes for my uh, animation to be at this exact point and maybe the same thing I want to do with the and maybe well the sound starts playing somewhere over here so let's copy that uh, let's go in here paste this uh, zoom out a little bit okay like this and maybe increase when it ends the animation now if I play all right I think now the sound is much more in sync all right so uh, you've seen this it's very simple how to do it remember now if I just publish my composition or my uh, my animation uh, the assets that I edit will not be uh, like audio asset is not uh, copied into my um, uh, destination publish folder so you have to remember that you have to go in and copy it yourself and then if I play from here it should work all right but as you could see this wasn't really uh, difficult to add uh, audio add sounds into the animations so give it a try give it a try to buzz or other uh, audio libraries there are a couple of, there's like sound.js uh, library there's also a pure javascript api for audio so those things are there for you and you can give them a try all right thank you very much and stay tuned for more